We were shocked and saddened in the newsroom today when we got word that Richard Threlkeld was killed this morning. It was a car wreck on Long Island. Dick Threlkeld was a CBS News correspondent who covered the world. We liked him because he was a gentleman. We admired him because of what he could do with words. This road, this damn road. It was Richard in Vietnam CBS that News. Richard Threlkeld perfected his spare, simple style away. that revealed so much more than even the pictures could. This was April 1970. Devaye is the lone medic in the platoon. He's scared, scared from the moment he gets out of the chopper to the moment it picks him up. Scared that someday he's going to get killed picking up a wounded buddy. Jorgensen just became a sergeant, but he doesn't like it. He'd rather be up walking point where the action is. He's already got three purple hearts, so everybody calls him Hero. Somewhere in this jungle, there's several hundred North Vietnamese soldiers who could wipe out this little American unit to the last man in an unguarded moment. Anywhere in the subways of Moscow, every detail was finely observed. Let's meet by the grape picker, the girls will say. Or let's meet at Lenin. Better be sure which Lenin you mean. There are lots of Lenins. In 25 years here, he was an anchor man, a political correspondent, a feature writer. He had amazing range. In 1990, Iraqi troops chose to surrender to Dick Threlkeld. We gave them a brisk, unprofessional frisking and some army rations and water. A reporter's reporter, writing with speed and accuracy, delivering insight on deadline. It's on camera closed. Right up to the end, the Americans really believed that it might all end peacefully in Saigon if we could just give Hanoi the government we thought they wanted instead of the government we wanted. As usual in Southeast Asia, we were wrong. But we hung on in Saigon perhaps too long because it was so hard to believe that the day might finally come when the South Vietnamese, our allies, our wards, our South Vietnamese would simply order us to pack up and get out. Richard Threlkeld, CBS News, aboard the USS Hancock. Dick was 74. He's survived by his wife, the former CBS News correspondent Betsy Aaron, two children and two grandchildren. Dick taught a generation of CBS News correspondents how to write. None of us did as well.